The average amount of alcohol each person in the country drinks every year is 12.2 litres, according to the World Health Organization. This is very worrying, given that we have a very young uh, population. Uganda is quite young, and um, that number doesn't only come from adults, of course. Uh, it must be uh, young people are, are going to, uh, I mean, are drinking alcohol, and uh, of course that is very dangerous. WHO data indicates Uganda's alcohol consumption figures are nearly twice as much as the average across Africa. And that has sparked calls for stronger legislation. The Nguri Act, CAP 86, the Portable Spirits Act, CAP 97, and the Liquor Act, CAP 93, as obsolete laws having been enacted in the early 1960s. And currently we have new types of alcohol that have been introduced to the market and circumstances have since changed. The proposed alcohol control bill seeks to regulate the manufacture, importation and consumption of alcoholic drinks. The bill, if passed, would prohibit the sale of alcohol after 10 p.m. on weekdays and after midnight at weekends. What we need is uh, a bill that is comprehensive addressing as many aspects as possible because what has been done is to study the gaps in our current regulatory framework and that's what we are trying to address. But according to Uganda's Alcohol Industry Association, the proposed bill could affect a sector that contributes more than $450 million in taxes to the economy. We have the formal sector that is paying huge taxes and following procedures and following production standards. And then we have the illicit brewer who is uh, making lots of money, making a killing, but also killing people because we don't know what people are consuming. The 2021 Euromonitor Illicit Alcohol Trade Report showed that 65% of all alcohol consumed in Uganda is unregulated. Controlled beers, wines and spirits only make up 35% of the total. While there are intentions to address the country's alcohol challenges, concerns remain that knock-on impacts could see job losses and lower revenue for farmers. With continuing debate on what and who to regulate, it may likely take some time before new alcohol policies become law. Leon Sanyange, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.